want to share with you a piece of advice that I was given early in my baseball career that not only helped me through my playing days, but something that still uh, I carry with me to today. So hopefully it'll be something that can help you as a young ball player or even your parents that are watching this video. So I was drafted in 1998 out of the University of New Mexico. Um, I didn't know anybody that had ever played professional baseball, so I did not know what to expect at all. So uh, one thing I want you guys to know about me, uh, I was a right-handed pitcher, and I'm only about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, uh, my baseball cards, I believe they say 5'10". Uh, that's only because uh, they asked us how tall we were. They didn't actually measure us, so between you and me, I'm 5'10". So, little secret. Um, but anyways, I got drafted, I got sent to Burlington, Vermont for short season rookie ball. And uh, I put together about two good weeks of outings. Um, I think I was closing games at the time in rookie ball. Uh, I had about two good weeks going. And after a game one night, I was called to our coach's office. Uh, it was our manager and my pitching coach. And they let me know that I was being promoted. Uh, I was going to low A, which was in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So. Uh, pretty excited, only two weeks in, I'm already getting bumped up. And, um, you know, they gave me the congratulatory, you know, speech and some of the details of what to expect at the next level. Uh, but then my manager, as I was getting ready to leave, my manager stopped me and he said, Hey, Jimmy, no matter what level you reached in this game, uh, never think you don't belong there. And at the time, uh, I wasn't quite sure what he was trying to say. I didn't, I didn't understand the magnitude of what he was trying to tell me. Uh, obviously, I knew I was going to another level. Uh, so I just kind of took it and said, okay. And, you know, at that point I was only two weeks in. So I was like, man, I'm going to be in the big leagues by August. So, uh, but it wasn't until maybe two or three years down the road um, when I was grinding it out in, you know, double AA, A, triple A, where there's a lot of prospects. There's a lot of big league guys, you know, on their way up, some big league guys on their way back down. Um, it wasn't until those levels where I really started to look around and think, man, do I belong here? Uh, only a 5'10 pitcher, wink, wink right at that level, um, guys that you've read about, guys that you've seen on TV that all of a sudden you're, you're next to. And it, it's very easy to, to start to have that doubt creep in and that fear creep in of, uh, is this something that I can do? You know, is this a, is this a level that I belong at? Um, but it was that saying, that manager uh, let me know, uh, never think you don't belong there, that crept back into my mind. That, that gave me the confidence, that gave me the boost to keep pushing, keep grinding, tell myself, yes, I do belong here, and yes, I'm gonna work my butt off to try to uh, to do what I can here and maybe reach the next level. So um, it was something that stuck with me, actually still stays with me today. You know, there's a lot of times in, in my current situation, work situation, where, you know, I might feel like I'm in this meeting, I'm going to, to have this big uh, presentation, anything like that where, where that doubt and that fear can creep in and, and all of a sudden I have to pull that uh, that saying back out again of, you know what, you deserve to be here. You're here for a reason. Keep pushing, keep working. So uh, it's been a great tool for me. Hopefully it'll be something that, that can work for you as well. And um, that also works in, in the opposite way. So you, you might have times where you're actually being sent down a level or you feel like you're taking a step back, um, whether that's on the field or off the field, right? Um, but you're there for a reason too, right? You, maybe you're taking that step back to get a different perspective, maybe work on something that you didn't get a chance to work on on your way up. So when you take that step back, uh, it's, a, it's okay to be upset, frustrated, whatever the case may be, but also let that same saying come into play of, of you're there for a reason, you deserve to be there, figure it out what it is, and then maybe you'll even catapult to the level above. So just a little piece of advice uh, that I was given that definitely helped me and I, I hope it helps you as well.